Hi folks, it's Ocean Zatik, and I'm here to chat with you guys a little bit about the energetic anatomy of pronouns, the energetic anatomy of gender pronouns. So this is a question that came up recently, and um, I was discussing it with somebody, and sort of the feeling um, that was generated for them when um, the pronouns, their preferred pronouns were used versus the feeling that was generated for them when their preferred pronouns were not used. Um, so in case you are not aware, my preferred pronouns these days are they, them, and theirs. And um, that is the case for several of us around. And um, there are a variety of pronouns. I have to let my hair down for this one. Um, there are a variety of pronouns which beings might choose to use, which reflect their autonomous choice as to how they prefer to navigate and be in the world. And so this takes on a multi-dimensional level, because obviously, so I'm speaking a little bit in terms of light work, and I'm also speaking a little bit in terms of um, prana and reiki, but they're all quite interrelated, I would say. And so I'm just going to um, flow state channel a little bit to describe the feeling of alignment that is possible when gender pronouns are, are used properly. So basically when our souls are imprinting onto these bodies, we each come with a set of samskaras, or set of causes and conditions um, for which we're here to learn some type of lesson. And there are many different types of identity markers. There's many different types of points of differentiation that um, make us all different and unique and give us all different characteristics. And of course, there's many, many different social conventions and structures in place which sort of incentivize or disincentivize certain attributes, creating um, systems of privilege or disprivilege. And of course, there is some level of consciousness, especially as multidimensional beings having a human experience, that we're all one, which is very, very true. And yet, um, and th there are also concepts of rebirths that as human beings, multidimensional human beings, we may or may not have had dozens of rebirths, some of which may have been uh, as a man, or as a woman, or as a some other sentient life form, or perhaps even on a different planet, or all different kinds of civilizations. So that's also possible. And then another really big concept that I'm aware of is the divine masculine essence and the divine feminine essence, um, which is yet again another pair of polarities which can be sort of energetically in play along with uh, what is called the inner child. And so those are all different elements which can describe um, aspects of our human experience in these bodies and in our minds. And they're certainly all in play. Um, however, we're kind of not really even talking about that. Um, I would say that with the energetic anatomy of gender pronouns, it really has to do with autonomy and sovereignty, and basically about seeing and honoring the individual um, in how they choose to present their own self. And most likely, this is connected to their soul's mission in this rebirth on this planet. And so the feeling of alignment that occurs when um, correct gender pronouns are used, it builds a unity consciousness and it is a form of balancing. Um, it's a very energetically balanced place. It's not particularly 
um, dysphoric, meaning sort of a negative feeling and feeling state space. And it's not particularly euphoric, like really ultra exciting. It's kind of bringing in a, a state of balance, um, sort of matter of factness. And for some people, it can be a cause of stress um, because on a transpersonal level, there's some degree of communication and discussion and conversation that has to take place when people need to disclose and maybe even need to clear up any misconceptions about preferred gender pronouns. And so I would suggest that by creating sufficient space for all the varieties of pronouns that are currently being used, um, there's probably a net benefit compared to rather a net detriment to um, the creation of greater light um, in this time um, timeline that we're currently manifesting. And what I would say about that is that it, going back to the more ancient um, based teaching of samskaras is that we're creating sort of enough space where um, people who do use um, more diverse pronoun preferences are sort of um, bringing um, a, a specific frequency. And it's not necessarily a frequency that um, absolutely must be expressed. It's a frequency that could be masked or it could be diverted. Um, but by by going with it, by cooperating with preferred pronouns, it would seem that we are broadening um, the ability of our species to evolve. And that is very aligned, I would suggest, to the goals of planetary transformation and of consciousness transformation. And um, lastly, I would say that it's also possible to feel um, alignment and misalignment. And so if you are unsure, or if you would like to experiment, you could place uh, one hand on your sternum and one hand on your diaphragm, and you could practice saying a few different statements. For instance, I prefer she pronouns. And take a breath with that and notice how it feels. Do you feel an upward rush of energy? Do you feel kind of a downward sagging of energy? Or do you feel some balanced sort of percolating sensation? And the same, I prefer he pronouns. I prefer they pronouns. I prefer some other type of pronoun. I identify as male. I identify as female. I identify as non-binary. I identify as something else. And so if you can begin to feel into the energetic anatomy of which one of those statements, which one or which ones of those statements felt true in your body, in your energy body, you might begin to notice um, the upward flow of prana as it's called, or you might notice some activation based on which one of those statements resonated for you. And when we're coming from a place of resonance, that is a place where bridges can be built, where unity consciousness is more accessible. And it's kind of more of the space where we want to be. And so now if you think about the statements that did not resonate, the statements that did not feel true for you in your energetic body and your alignment. 
and remember those sensations and that feeling. And then just imagine that misalignment. And so perhaps just wanting to avoid creating that misalignment for ourselves or for other people. And it might even be something where um, you in particular might um, not be having your preferred pronouns um, consistently used. And that may or may not be um, serving you. So that's another thing that you could inquire if your preferred pronoun is not being used consistently. You could imagine and inquire if you feel that that is having a detrimental effect on you and on your personal energy. Because gender is simply one form of our human vital energy. And when we come from a fear-based mindset, our vital energy in general is not able to flow. So when there's constriction, there's an, an absence of flow. And so when you are pronouning yourself or other people, you can recall this grid, this grid of energy within yourself, and um, you can work towards more interconnection um, by aligning within yourself and your own preferred gender pronouns and by using language, um, which is one form of vibrational resonance in order to quite literally raise the vibration. So I hope that these concepts and I hope that this energy, um, this overall gestalt of what I uh, channeled for you guys just now, you folks just now, um, is able to illustrate a little bit more about the energetic anatomy of gender pronouns. And if you would like to discuss more about this, I invite you to connect to me on social media through my Instagram at ozotique or through my website, zotique.org. And if you would like to continue working with me to discover the energetic resonances which align most to your preferred expression, um, your preferred pronoun, and your um, highest and most ascended um, expression of your genders or gender, you are also welcome to uh, book a Zoom session with me as well, um, which is available through the bio on my Instagram. So I hope that this has been beneficial to you. May you be well. And until next time, bye-bye.